kind of stays in your blood. It's really hard to get away from it. Bethany and Way is the founder and race director of the Lake Minnetonka Klondike Dog Derby. She knows a thing or two about the sport. I rode a sled before I learned how to ride a bike. Her dad raced when she was growing up, even competed in the Iditarod in Alaska, so no one better to get us all up to speed on sled dog racing. First, that person riding on the sled, they're called a musher. Getting to the start line with eight qualified dogs, is years of work. And the connection between those dogs and their musher is key. You really have to have a good lead dog out there who's going to hear your voice commands. There's no reins or anything like that. This is all voice command. If you're along the course on Sunday, here are some of the commands to listen up for. G for right and ha for left. Uh, hike means go. Wo is to get the dogs to stop. And Bethany says getting them to stop a lot more work than getting them to go because it's literally in their DNA to pull. And that's why you might notice the starting line can be a little intense. Most people are shocked at how noisy it is. They are barking. They are rearing to go. There are handlers who are leading the teams to the start and also holding them back. I mean, the physical power of a sled dog team coming to the start of a race is impressive. For this race, there are eight dogs on each team, so over 250 in town ready to compete. It is really fun. There's nothing quite like it. In Excelsior, Brian Pyatt, Carol Eva News.